hey loves welcome back to my channel i'm about to show you all how i made this beautiful corn roll on my two-year-old this is the first hairstyle i'll be showing you all on my back to school hairstyle series yay <laughs> I know, I know, I'm almost late to the party. Busy being, most school has resumed for the new section. But I still think these hairdo, these hairstyles, will come in handy for us since we change our guest hairdo every week or every other week. So do stick around to the end of this video because this might look complicated, but it's pretty much easy. Trust me. And with no further ado, let us dive right in. As you all might have seen earlier, I have moisturized the hair with a leave-in conditioner. Now I'm trying to part out a section in the middle, okay? Not like a center parting. I want to part out like a section that I'll be conrolling in the middle. So right now I'll apply my shine and jam so that the line can be more visible. And after that, I will comb out then start braiding or rather conrolling. If you noticed, I stopped midway, not all the way down because this hairstyle is kind of like a ponytail, a two-side ponytail, yeah? So right now, I'm trying to part the hair from ear to ear for that ponytail look. Next, I'll go in with my shine and jam for a more crispier line. So after I was done sectioning out the two in the front, I will twist them out so they can get out of my way. <laughs> then I'll move to the back and repeat the same thing I did in the front there. But I won't be conrolling the middle yet because the lines are not crispier enough. The lines are not perfect yet. So I'll just go ahead and braid them out then start conrolling the front. <music> So I had to braid most of these because I don't want this video to be too long. But don't worry, I'll be showing you all everything I did, every step, every process I took. Don't worry, I got you. But I just had to show you guys this last one I braided from this side because there's something I did here that I won't be doing on the other side of the hair, on the left hand side of the hair. So once I braid to the end, I would then take in the middle hair I conrolled, then braid together. I don't know if you get me, but just watch what I'm doing. So I'm done with the right hand side. Now it's time to do the same on the left hand side. So do watch closely so you understand everything I'm doing. First of all, I'll pat out some hair in a slant form around her ear for that extra dangling style you saw from the beginning of this video or from the thumbnail, okay? And after that, I will put it into a bun, then set aside. <music> Now for the rest of the hair in this section, I will start patting it in an yellow shape. But this is kind of a slant yellow shape or V shape. I think it's more like a V shape, yeah. So I will pat out a V shape, then start conrolling. <music>
I'll keep repeating the same process for four times, pat out a V-shape, then conroll. And when I get to the last one, which is the fifth, I'll simply conroll out. So for the back, we'll repeat the same process all over again. But the only difference with this one is that we are not bringing out any dangling extra style at the back, okay? We are just, um, you know, creating that whole L-shaped or V-shaped um, pattern, then conroll out just as I'm doing right now. And for this last one in this section, I will conroll out and when I get to the end, I will add the middle conroll, the end of the middle conroll to it, then braid out together. Just see how I'm doing it. I will add, then start braiding out. Just like I did at the front. I don't know if you noticed but these ones at the back look more like a curved shape than a v-shape but we don't care because it doesn't matter okay <laughs> I brushed the scalp of her hair for too long after applying my edge control which resulted to the whole redness you're seeing right now. I didn't even notice this on time, I just got to see this while I was editing the video. This really made me feel bad. Um, I won't be trying this again, I won't be brushing her hair for this long after applying edge control, seriously.
I can roll that the remaining one, then bring it out the ends of the con rolls off camera. So now I'm putting the two ponytails into a rubber band. For the hair I set aside earlier, now it's time to start braiding them. I'll be using braiding extensions for that. I sure that about four strands of extensions that I'll be using for each, then start coloring a feed in braid. Just watch and see how I'm doing this. I did two feed in on each side, making a total of four feed in corn roll. After I was done, I accessorized with six beads each. Back to the ponytail, I'll wrap the ends of the braid around the root, then grip with rubber bands, forming a bone. Next, I'll pass my crochet pin through the bone, put on my passion twist at the hook, pull out the knot like this. I'll keep repeating the process till I get my desired quantity. Note, this step is totally optional. You can leave the ponytail like that without any extra styling, but you all know I love extras. <laughs> Hence, this style, okay? Then, I'll go ahead and wrap the passion twist around the roots of her hair, forming a bun again, but this time, a bigger bun, okay? And voila! That is it for this style. Pretty easy, right? And of course, I did not forget my accessories. I love accessorizing hair with colors, especially kids' hair, my baby's hair. You know, colors play a huge role in beautifying kids' hair, honestly. And before I forget, I laid down the edges with my edge control, reason why the edges are looking all sleek and shiny. <laughs> so this brings us to the end of this video see how pretty my princess looks this hair looks good on her and she knows it so guys if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for thumbs up to this video share if you can and until next time see you in my next one bye bye